the perfect one-week itinerary in Florida. Day one, fly into Orlando and head straight to Universal Studios for Harry Potter World. Make sure you stay in the evening to watch the castle illumination. Day two, head back to Universal for more Harry Potter World and to ride some of the amazing rides. That evening, we drove a short way to Rock Spring State Park and paid just $3 to float the real-life Lazy River. This stunning and serene tubing adventure takes about 30 minutes to float, and we did it twice. Day three, head to Crystal River and swim with manatees. For lunch, we headed to Tarpon Springs, home to the largest green communities outside of Greece. We then toured the Ringling House, Kadazan, a European-style palace right in Florida. We ended the evening with sunset on Siesta Key Beach. Day four, we toured Edison and Ford's Winter Estates on a guided tour. Our next stop was one of the best hidden gems on the trip, Robert Is Here Fruit Stand. We ended the day in the Everglades. This area is teeming with wildlife, particularly alligators. Day five, we headed to the beautiful Florida Keys. We snorkeled in Bahia Honda, ate lunch at Hogfish, then ventured to Key West, the southernmost point in the USA. We hopped on a train tour to learn the history of Key West, then toured Ernest Hemingway's home. We watched sunset at the pier and had a drink at Sloppy Joe's. Day six, we swam at Sombrero Beach and had a slice of key lime pie and conch fritters at Mrs. Max. From here, we drove into Miami and spent the evening in Little Havana. We had a Cuban sandwich at Ball and Chain. Day seven, we had breakfast on Miami Beach and walked Ocean Drive. We headed to Wynwood Walls to check out the incredible graffiti and strode the high-end shops at the Design District. There you have it, your perfect seven-day Florida itinerary.